So uh, <laughs> Hester Pierce, the only person right now who really is into crypto and digital assets and really understands what's going on. So she just said, look, you can try to ban Bitcoin and crypto, but uh, good luck. It's going to be very tough. This is why. And I think this is a lot of, I, I want to bring this up to alleviate a lot of people's fears because you got people out there saying that Bitcoin's going to be banned and crypto is going to be banned and India's going to ban it and Russia blah, China, and all this stuff. So here's the thing. Um, I'll get to that on a second. It's very hard to do that. And this is why. And this is what Hester Pierce said. She says, look, I think we're past that point of banning Bitcoin in the US. I agree. Very early on, because you'd have to shut down the entire internet. I don't see how you could ban it. You can certainly make the effort. It would be very hard to stop people from doing it, like trading Bitcoin and transacting. So I think it would be a foolish thing for the government to try to do that. Ray uh, DeLeo, Dalio, I always mess up his name. For example, has said a number of times that government bans on the transacting the cryptocurrencies are likely. So Ray here thinks that uh, government's going to step in and just ban everything. And a lot of people have come out and said that's kind of tough to do. And now even the SEC commissioner is like, that's, that's like very tough. And then uh, finish up, British financial advisor this year set up a petition. This is other people calling for UK governments to make crypto transactions illegal. India is one country currently preparing to stop its citizens from being holding decentralized assets. And before I go on, I have to say this. Uh, this is just one financial advisor who probably is big into the banking industry. And it's like, we need to ban it. Duh, of course. And then, of course, over in India, you've had that whole thing going about. India already tried to ban it. And they went through um, the whole process and all the way up to the Supreme Court. And they said, you can't do that. And now you have different legislations going, oh, we're going to try to ban it. But then you had the, um, I forgot her name or her title, but she's like the treasury secretary over there. She's like, we'll work with uh, banks and crypto to make this actually work. So I don't think that's going to happen again. I think it'd be foolhardy. And then it says here, as Pierce said, in reality, this would be very difficult. Technology will likely outpace the government's attempts to limit Bitcoin use since people will always be able to download the wallet, software, run a node, and make transactions as long as they have access to the internet. And before I go on to my points, this last thing I want to talk about is this. Pierce added that with the new crypto savvy SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, coming in, things would hopefully move in the right direction. So let me just talk about Gensler and I'll, and I'll back up. So here's the thing. Gary Gensler was giving blockchain, cryptocurrency, digital asset, um, uh, lectures uh, at, uh, at MIT, and he was teaching some very smart people exactly what was going on. And he knows this thing inside and out. And I think that is the big thing about people who are just ignorant, either through their own fault or through their just lack of desire to learn. So Jay, whatever his name was, he just got out as the SEC commissioner. Now we're going to have Ginsler come in. And I think things are going to move around because he knows he just gets it and he sees where things are going. Same with uh, Janet Yellen. She's you know said a, a couple of different things um, and looks like she really knows where uh, the winds are blowing. So I think this could work out uh, pretty well once we get the new people uh, in there. Now talking about these different uh, aspects of like being able to ban Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, you could do it and like that whole thing about you know shutting down the whole internet that's one side of it um that's impossible that's just that's just dumb let's just be honest right to shut down the internet and shut down all the nodes globally because it's not just america it's not just south america it's not just canada it's not just china it's not just india and all these places that have nodes throughout the whole world i mean it's just everywhere right so to be able to to shut down bitcoin is hard the only thing that i see the problem is is being able to shut down exchanges and they did that in india uh during that whole ban period but here's the thing if you do that, if a, one country does that, you know what that means? It's just there's a little bit of pocket and it causes a vacuum. And then everybody just goes, well, America, you don't want to do these things. That's fine. We'll just go over here and do the same thing and we'll trade it and we'll transact with it and we'll speculate on it. And that's okay. And then people in America, they'll be like, oh, that sucks. And then they would probably get what's called a VPN. I personally don't use a VPN. I know I should, but uh, I just I just don't. And uh, people would still transact. There's ways around things. If you really want this to happen, it'll happen. So that's just how I see it. I also see the same thing with marijuana. I don't want to get into this uh, too heavy, but uh, I live in El Paso for you know, a good amount of time throughout the year. And a lot of marijuana comes through here. <laughs> and actually it's legal in a lot of different places. But uh, once you 
once you decriminalize it and uh, unban it throughout all 50 states, um, that's just uh, one more piece where the price will uh, drop down. And, and of course, if you start to try to ban something, it makes people want it even more, and then the price goes up. So again, good luck, uh, America, banning it. I, I'm not going to tempt fate, but that's just how I see it. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last piece. And this is just real quick. Um, the thing about Puerto Rico is that it's a great place. And I'm going to do a video about me probably moving down there, me and my wife, uh, because look, taxes are crazy. Okay. So if you're talking about long term or short term, I mean, you're looking to spend between uh, 20% all the way up to 47% depending on the state that you live or short term. So that is one thing. I know people, there's a very small amount of people that they'll say, well, how dare you? And this is this is just some small people. How dare you move and not pay your fair share of taxes? Look, I've been paying taxes since I was 15 years old and I've been doing a lot of different things. And all that money that I put into it, you know, as far as like uh, to help build roads and bridges and everything else, I did that. I did my part. On top of that, all that social security and things that I was promised, that's not going to be around when, I'm, when, when I get to that age. Money is on fire, quantitative easing. If you don't need my money, just keep printing. Seems like that's the answer for everything. So you can say whatever you want in the comment section, but if it came down to you and your family and you said, okay, I'm going to give 47%, roughly half of what I own, and then that's just going to go to the government to do whatever they want to do, or I could just do this other thing, and it's, it's an option to me, what would you want to do? I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments section. But uh, I'll be putting that together. I'm going to be putting together the uh, the person that uh, you can contact to get all the legal documents. I'm going to be uh, talking to um, the person that uh, showed us around, our, uh, our real estate agent, and then a couple of different people that you can get in contact with and you can do your own research and you can make the best decision for you and your family. I will get that out uh, as soon as possible. A lot of things going on right now, but that is it for today. So look... First of all, thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you like this type of video, uh, give it a thumbs up if you found value. Also consider subscribing because a lot of things we talk about are time sensitive. And before I put up my two videos, I'm going to do a little bit of shilling. You like this shirt? Well, guess what? There's a link in the description. They are called Classic Tees and they are great. They fit really well in the arms. And then if you got a dad bod, my gut's kind of getting a little big. Uh, it's just how it is. It's a little bit looser here. So if you like something like that, look in the description. Uh, you can pick up these tees for very, uh, they're very inexpensive for what they are. And then proceeds go to help uh, homeless veterans to build homes for them. So that's why I talk about them, affiliate links only. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.